Welcome to this short video about installing PMP Sitecore library using NuGet in Visual Studio. Before digging into the details about installing PMP Sitecore library, let me briefly explain you what it is. It is an open source library that provides a bunch of interesting functionalities like, for example, the PMP provisioning engine, the authentication manager to easily authenticate against SharePoint Online and SharePoint on-premises, the timer job framework to create the new remote timer jobs for SharePoint Online or on-prem again, and a bunch of helper types and extension methods to make your life easier whenever you develop solutions for SharePoint, whether it is online or on-premises. And I say that because we offer the library through three different flavors. We have one for SharePoint Online, which includes in the dependencies the SharePoint Season package as well, and two more flavors, one for SharePoint 2013 and one for SharePoint 2016, both on-premises of course, which do not include uh, the SharePoint Season package, and so whenever you will install the on-premises version, you will also have to install the SharePoint Season before the uh, core library package. We update the core library on a monthly basis to add new functionalities and new capabilities, as well as to fix uh, any bug. All of that fully based on community efforts because it is an open source and community project that we run together all of the people working in the SharePoint community all over the world. So let me move to my demo environment and let me show you how you can install it uh, using NuGet. So here I am in Visual Studio. Let me create a new project, which for the sake of simplicity can be a console application. Call it whatever you like. And once you have your project ready to go, just right click references and select the manage new get packages option in the uh, menu. Search for SharePoint PMP core, and here you will find the flavors of PMP core library. I will select the one for SharePoint online, which includes Season as you can see, and I will install it. Here I have to accept the changes that will be applied to my Visual Studio project. And here I have to accept the licenses of all of the dependencies that I have uh, in my package. In a matter of few seconds, the full package and all of the dependencies will be installed in my project and I will be ready to go. And here we are, finished. So let's switch back to the source code of the application and for example let's play with the client context object of the SharePoint client side object model. So let me make a using of mics.sharepoint.client and let me create a new client context object which I will use to connect to a target SharePoint online environment which can be whatever you like dot sharepoint.com and in my case I will use my testing environment. So Whenever you create a client context object targeting SharePoint Online, you have to provide the credentials to authenticate against the target environment. And here, using the PMP core library, I will use the credential manager type, which is an helper class that we have in PMP core under Office Dev PMP core utilities. And we will use this class to get the SharePoint Online credentials from my credential manager, so from the Windows credential manager of my machine. This is the name of the credentials that I will use. And once I've done that, I'm ready to connect and to use my target environment. So for example, I can get a reference to the web object of my target environment. I can load that web object using context.load and selecting to load not only the web by object by itself, but also the title of my object. I can make an execute query and using one more extension method that we have in PMP core, the execute query retry, I will make it possible to retry my request in case of any throttling or any other networking issue. And once I'm done with that, I can simply write the web.title on the console window. So let me execute this application. Let me show you the console UI. And here we have the title of our application, of our uh, target site collection. That's it, pretty easy. Right click on the references, select Manage New Get Packages, and install the SharePoint PMP core library. That's it. I hope you will enjoy playing with the PMP core library, and I want to thank you for watching this video.